Welcome to Advent Lutheran Church. Our midweek Lenten worship theme is Season of Hope. How do we sense and nurture hope during Lent and this pandemic time? Each week, we'll focus on a different sense, touching, hearing, seeing, smelling, and tasting. Tonight, our group of confirmands and mentors will be sharing their thoughts on smelling the sense of hope. What does hope smell like? Does it smell like incense rising, coffee brewing, a garden's bounty, or grandmother's kitchen, or perhaps newly fallen snow? What about smells that turn us away? Does a foul smell point us away from hope and beauty? Do we turn away from things that make us nauseous? In his letter to the church at Corinth, Paul shares how God and smell can be connected in our life of faith. We are the aroma of Christ to God. The confirmands and mentors tonight invite you to grab your favorite scented candle. Perhaps light it. Soak in its scents and all of the abundant memories, and may it fill you with a sense of hope. Let us prepare our hearts for worship. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. I'll be reading a passage from John 12, verses 1 through 8. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here, a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' Jesus's feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas, Judas is is Caria, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used it to help himself to what was put in, into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Second lesson, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. But thanks be to God, who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. For we are to God the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. To the one, we are an aroma that brings death. To the other, an aroma that brings life. And who is equal to such a task? Unlike so many, we do not peddle the word of God for profit. On the contrary, in Christ, we speak before God with sincerity as those sent from God. This time, we will be sharing scents that make us happy. While you are listening, think of a scent that makes you happy. The peppermint smell of candy canes takes me to the Christmas tree, stringing lights and hanging up ornaments, singing and dancing with my pop-up mom and sister. We scatter the candy canes all around the tree. Then we sing and dance and eat candy canes. The smell of peppermint brings me to my happy place. Hi, I'm Nancy, and I'm going to talk about lavender. And at a wonderful time of independence and travel in my youth, I discovered the lavender fields in the south of France. Lavender scents remind me of beauty, peace, and tranquility. Nature and beauty are God's gift of hope to us. I'd also like to talk about a not so pleasant scent, but here in the Indian Valley, you can be driving around in early spring and smell the scent of cow manure, which means they're plowing the fields. But I used to be offended by it, but now I love it because I know that it's the changing of the seasons and I live in a, a wonderful farming community. Hi, my name is Erin, and the scent that um that brings me to my happy place is a uh, cookie dough because my family likes making cookies and whenever I make cookies I have a fun time and yeah it makes me happy. Hi my name is Joel and the scent that brings me back to my happy place is also cookies and a thing here of uh, snickerdoodles. So these are snickerdoodles and they bring me back 40 years uh, to when I was 10 years old and I would always cook uh, snickerdoodles with my mom and we'd always do it around Christmas time so that we could give to the neighbors and so it always brings me back to that time in the kitchen uh, spending time with her rolling the dough into balls and rubbing them in the sugar and the cinnamon uh, and then of course at the end you always have to eat them. Hi my name is Wade and uh, a scent that brings me to my happy place is a special cologne that my father uses. 
and which I now have. And it brings me to this happy place because it reminds me of comfort and safety. Because whenever I was having a tough time or just any time in general, I would go to my father. I would always smell the certain cologne. I used to think it was just a terrible strong smell. But now that I've, you know, have this cologne and grown older, I seem to like it a bit more. My name's Dan. Ah, the smell of fresh corn. Each summer, as I sit on my patio after harvesting my garden vegetables, I find myself husking corn and shelling peas and beans. The smell of the fresh vegetables takes me back over 60 years to a simple time spent with my mother. We would sit there just as I do today, husking and shelling the vegetables so they could be canned or frozen for the winter months. We would play educational games where my mother would pick a letter of the alphabet and I had to identify and spell a state beginning with that letter. A simple game, but very educational for a five-year-old boy. After all these years of hope, the smell of fresh vegetables from my garden takes me back to memories of my mother and my childhood. Hi, I'm Ashley and I have a sugar cookie scented candle. Personally, the scent of sugar cookies is a smell of hope and happiness to me because it reminds me of good times baking with my family during the Christmas season and snow days that I spent icing the cookies. Our smells of hope connect us to God because we are. I'm often hopeful when thinking about him. That's why it's important for me to remember and think about smells that make me hopeful and happy. And to remember for you guys, while you're listening to our speeches, think of happy smells that you connect to. Hi, my name is Jen, and a smell that is near and dear to me is the smell of eucalyptus. I love to use the essential oil of eucalyptus in my diffuser because it brings me back to my childhood and my time that I spent with my grandparents. I even find myself wandering in craft stores back to the dried flowers just to take in that new scent of eucalyptus. <clears throat> the warmth of my grandparents' home, the comforts of their hugs, and the memories I have with them down at the shore on their house at their house on Long Beach Island. The smell of eucalyptus was always around. It fills me with the hope that one day I will meet up with them once again in God's great kingdom of heaven. Most recently, I was struck with the COVID virus. And one of the side effects of having the virus is losing your sense of taste and smell. It was very disheartening for me. Um, a lot of my favorite smells we're not there. Um, I felt very disconnected. I felt very um, out of the loop and not able to connect with those memories that I hold so fond or with the essence of just having the Lord, my grandparents, my mother, whoever was special around me.
light shines in the darkness. And the darkness An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth.
Great and merciful God, source of ground of all God, goodness and life, give to your people and peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For a sense of comfort and hope during these trying times. I hope we as people can go back to simpler times, times filled with wondrous smells that fill people's hearts with nostalgia. Thank you for giving us this feeling of hope so we may try to achieve these times again. In Jesus' name, amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are all yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. 